Okay, so let's take a look at this problem. And as you can see, it's a say it has the position of a particle moving along an x-axis. So I know I'm going left and right. And I have a position function x of t. Determine the times with an instantaneous velocity. So that's important equals the average velocity during this time interval, okay? So let's think back to our equations, and anytime I see instantaneous velocity, I need to find V of t, okay? Anytime I use average velocity, average, I'm gonna use the equation S of t2 minus S, or in this case, x, sorry, x of t2 minus x of t1 divided by t2 minus t1. So let's actually find these pieces. Well, in order to find v of t, I need the derivative of this function. So let's do that, and I get v of t is equal to 3 times 1 third is 1. So I get t squared minus 4t. Okay. Now I need to find the average velocity, so I'm going to get x of 3, since that's my t2, minus x of 0, divided by 3 minus 0. The good thing is, if I plug in 0 into x, I'm going to get 0, so I'm going to get rid of this. And all I need to do is find x of 3. So on the side, I'm going to do x of 3 is equal to 1 third times 3 cubed minus 2 times 3 squared, which is 9. So that gives me 27 divided by 3 is 9 minus 18 gives me negative 9. So I plug that in here and I get negative 9 over 3. So if I were to scroll this down, I'm going to find out that the average velocity is equal to negative 9 divided by 3, which is negative 3. So since I want this to equal each other, what I'm going to do is take this green equation and set it equal to the answer we got below, which was negative 3. So what I'll do is do t squared minus 4t equal to negative 3. So now I have to figure out how to solve this. Since I have multiple t's, I'm going to want to factor, but before I do that, it's easiest if I set one side equal to zero. So I'm going to move that negative 3 over, and I'm going to get t squared. So I get, oops. All right. Okay, let me undo this again. Undo. Oops. Okay, so let's write this out. What I'm going to get is t squared minus 4t plus 3 equals 0. And now it's easier to factor. I get t minus 1 is t minus 1 times t minus 3. If I have to set these equal to 0, I get t minus 1 equals 0 and t minus 3 equals 0. So the two times that this actually happens is when t is equal to one second or when t is equal to three seconds. And that's our answer. Good, let's take a look at the next example, part B. It says, now I want to know the instantaneous acceleration equals the average acceleration. So this is very similar to the previous problem, except I need instantaneous acceleration equal to the average acceleration. So let's do this again. Earlier, we knew that our uh, velocity was equal to this. So let me do this. Copy that, and on this page, I'd like to paste it. Oops, Control V. So I know my velocity is equal to this, but I don't want the velocity for this problem. I actually want the acceleration. So I know acceleration is equal to this derivative, which is two t minus four. 
Now I need to find the average acceleration. So the acceleration's average is V of T2 minus V of T1 over T2 minus T1. So in this problem, I'm going to get V of 3 minus V of 0 divided by 3 minus 0. Once again, if I plug in 0 into my V, this cancels. If I plug in 3, I get 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4 times 3, which is 12. So 9 minus 12 is negative 3. Divided by 3 is equal to negative 1. So what I'm going to do is set this equation here equal to negative 1. 2t minus 4 equals negative 1. I get 2t is equal to 3. Is that correct? Um, then what I'm going to get from here is divide by 2. So t is equal to 3 over 2 seconds. So same strategy except I'm using different equations. And the last part of this problem says, what is the velocity of the particle? So I'm looking for the velocity when the acceleration is zero. So anytime I'm asking just for a velocity, not an average velocity, but just a velocity, I know I have to use V of t. I want to make sure my acceleration, A of t, is, and in math, is stands for the equal sign, is zero. So I'm going to take our two equations from the previous problem, this section right here. Let me copy and paste this again. I want to copy and paste this into here so it gives us a better idea. I'm going to move this up here and this down here. Oops this right here and down here. So I need to set the a of t equal to zero. So what I'm going to do is make this equal to zero. I move that four over and I get t is equal to two. So where do you think I'm going to plug this into to get the velocity? And I'm going to plug it into this equation. So now I get v of two is equal to two squared minus four times two which gives me 4 minus 8, which is equal to negative 4. And if I check my units, I don't really have um, any, so I'm going to say negative 4 and just say broadly units per second. Perfect. So I'm going to have you guys take a look at this. Go ahead and try the trig one, and then I'll show you how to do that in a minute as well. Thank you.